If you look at what's inside any book, from the perspective of, say, a three-year-old, all they're seeing, maybe a two-year-old, all they're seeing are lines and circles and loops and whirls. And the fact that you can look at those same lines and circles and loops and whirls and see a story about a captain and a great white whale that Herman Melville wrote almost 200 years ago and be inside Melville's mind while you're reading it. It really is an extraordinary miracle what we do when we read it. Someone who says to me, you know, I've noticed that all three of your children read. How do you get your children to read? And I look around the person's living room and there are no books. I have a Western Union telegram for, for Miss Anna Quinlan and I said, this is she, and she said, the trustees of Columbia University are pleased to inform you that you have been awarded the Pulitzer Prize for, my goodness, this is wonderful. <laughs> and I said, thank you very much. <laughs> and she said, you want me to read the rest of the telegram? I said, yes, I do. <laughs> um, and I said, can I talk to, to my dad? And she said, he's out riding around in his truck because every 20 minutes, news radio says that he won the Pulitzer Prize. That was the high point of winning the Pulitzer Book clubs put my kids through college. <laughs> <laughs> no, I mean, I, you know, I'm, I'm always out and about when people are always saying to me, well, you know, I don't want to read it anymore. And I'm like, then who are those thousands of people I like meeting all over the country who are in book clubs? I mean, I meet people who are in nonfiction book clubs, fiction book clubs, book clubs that only read the classics, book clubs that only read certain kinds of books, all male book clubs, all female book clubs. It's just fantastic how people are, you know, connecting with each other over Hi. Um, how did you enjoy the evening with Anna Quinlan? I loved it. I drove here in the pouring rain. It took me an hour to get here, but it was so worth it. Where'd you come from? Squirrel Hill. That's far. <laughs> but traffic. That's far. Wow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But it was so worth it. I'm so happy I, I came and... So you're she, a fan? Always. Yeah, always. And I like I just told her, this makes the best birthday gift for, for people turning... Um, Lots of candles, plenty of cake. <laughs> it makes the best birthday gift for people my age. <laughs> I thought it was excellent, and I'm so pleased that she came to our community. It was such an easy event to get to. It was so welcoming and warm, and she provided such wonderful insight into her process of writing, which I think is such a valuable education. And she also gave us her perspective of being in New York City during you know huge points in history and, and gave us that sense of um, really being there. Oh, I'm so glad you came. Thanks for sharing your thoughts.